Well, thank you for staying tuned. South Africa's central bank unexpectedly cut its ma main lending rate by 25 basis points to 6.25% on Thursday, providing a stimulus to the flagging economy as it lowered its inflation forecast significantly. The rate cut was a unanimous decision and the first to drop since July last year. Let's wrap up the week in South Africa with my colleague there, Katleho Lehodi. Hello, Katleho. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming through to us. A very good afternoon to you. The majority of analysts had expected no change in rates because of risks associated with a February budget speech and a scheduled review of the country's last investment grade credit rating by Moody's in March. What may have changed this narrative and how are analysts reacting to this rates decision? Well, a welcome relief for consumers here at home. Just you must remember that just before yesterday, the last time this happened, the cut was in July last year. The decision was not as the market had expected it, as you rightly stated there. Looking at the bleak state of South Africa's economy and its struggling coupled with the electricity supply challenges that we've had here at home, the decision, according to Reserve Bank Governor Lesecha Kanyaho, can be mainly attributed to inflation and the expected expectations around it. Inflation shows no sign of taking off anytime soon, and the medium-term inflation uh, outlook has been revised significantly lower compared to the Monetary Policy Committee as November forecast. Well, economists, as you rightly stated, they have welcomed the announcement, and even though many had predicted that the repo rate would remain unchanged at 6.5%, they agree that the economy contracted in the third quarter and that in the fourth quarter there was some slight growth, uh, thus despite ESCOM's struggles or challenges that saw us hitting stage six last year. Now, is the morning after this decision, how are the markets, particularly the RAND, reacting? Well, the, the rent has been weakened of uh, what happened. The announcement uh, that while lower interest rates stimulate economic activity, they make some as bonds attract invest, uh, seeking higher yields. Well, the rent has been 2.23% to 1442 against the US dollar. Uh, it has softened uh, to 0.4% to 1610 against the British pound and also weakening 0.48% against the, 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 the British pound there. South Africa's public finances have been on the severe strain after repeated bailouts to alien state firms like Power Utility Escom and, of course, South African Airline. Just yesterday, SAA issued a statement saying it has put nine of its aircrafts up for sale. Is this part of the rescue plan for this airline? Well, SAA, you know, it's common knowledge now that it's been going through the most. Just yesterday, we heard that the airline, you know, remains under threat of liquidation due to government's failure to release the promised two billion rand for the business rescue process. Well, uh, this could uh, see flights cancelled again uh, this coming weekend and staff not being paid at the end of the month. But it is, of course, selling nine aircraft, uh, you know, as you rightly stated there. But it says that this has nothing to do with the uh, rescue business rescue process that is airline uh, says that the process to sell uh, those nine aircraft has been in the pipeline for quite some time now that it was prudent for them to after receiving at least a four fleet uh, to sell the older modes to accommodate the new ones so many corporate news on the wire in south africa this week from old mutual winning the court case against the fired ceo the escom new ceo assuming office and so on a lot of them now which of them moved the markets the most in the week well apart from the company that you stated there uh, we saw gains in the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. It has experienced gains from the market through certain quotas. But then companies like MassMed uh, searched following the announcement of lo looming uh, retrenchments of its staff there following a decision to downsize, uh, you know, the staff. It closed 5.8% weaker at 61 rand 64 cent. And also gains were also reported for telecom. The telecommunication giants also coming through to going to retrench at least 3,000 of its staff members. Uh, this is a move that has been widely opposed by workers' unions here in South Africa. So those companies are most of the companies that made headlines this week. 
Mm. Well, next week is the week of Davos, and of course, um, UK Africa Investment Summit is on Monday in London. And uh, President Ramaphosa is not attending any of these. Why? Well, President Cyril Ramaphosa has been living a lot here on the ground, and the mounting pressure for him to fight up and fight his sister. Ravin Godan, amid what is happening at ESCOM with the rolling, you know, blackout uh, that we saw, you know, in the past weeks, the president has assigned Finance Minister Tito Mboweni to lead Team South Africa uh, to uh, Davos and to attend also that UK as a, a sum, UK Africa a summit in London. And but then uh, the the presidency releasing a statement there, the president saying that uh, he has taken the decision to give attention to domestic priorities, issues, and preparations for the governing party's cabinet mehota that happens almost every Monday uh, of uh, the week. Uh, and uh, the president is also said to be uh, currently inundated with preparations for uh, the AU uh, summit. We know that South Africa will be taking over as the chair of the AU summit. So this is something that the president is saying that he's inundated with plans and preparations for uh, that summit come next month. So what are the expectations for next week? Well, next week we can expect, you know, the market to uh, continue, you know, on, on a negative trajectory. We know South Africa has been going uh, through the most. The economy has not been performing uh, very well. It still faces uh, low growth and little rumor to rain in uh, deficits where that is concerned. There's also increasing, you know, external risks, uh, muted growth and weak public finances here in South Africa. It's not a good picture uh, that we're going or we're taking into the new week, but we'll see how the economy fares. Also, what could be expected World Economic Forum uh, that is taking place in Switzerland and also what is coming out of that UK-Africa summit taking place on Monday in London. So we can only remain optimistic that the RAND will do relatively well uh, amid all the challenges that South Africa has been facing uh, due to an economy that has been sluggish in its growth. All right, Katleho, uh, I'll sh I share that optimism with you. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.